Squanto is actually a real figure in, in American history. Squanto is from the Patuxet tribe, and Squanto actually is away for like a decade. He's enslaved, he's captured by Europeans, and he learns the English language. And a decade later, he comes back to find that his entire tribe had been decimated from disease. So he's the last of his tribe. The fact that he's on the outside because he's been influenced by English culture, he speaks the language, he has a worldview that's different from the land that he has come from. So he finds himself back at home and not feeling at home. So when the, the saints and strangers come over on the Mayflower, there's almost a connection that they have because they are also strangers in a way. I sat not far from this place and wept into the waters that carried me so far away. That day I longed for my home. Yet I was already home. Squanto was a diplomat. He was a translator. Me as Kalani Kwepo in the modern world, you straddle traditional and modern. You, you battle with the values of your people of the past and, and what's happening right now. There's one point where I'm incapacitated and the native people say something to Bradford and, and, um, and he's like, oh, if we only had somebody to translate, you know? And that delicate balance, that, that instrument, that tool was missing for them, you know? And, and it just goes to show you how everybody plays their part. There's a role for everybody. Squanto is such an important role in this because he really does bridge that gap between the native people who are there and, and the saints and strangers, these settlers.